what's up guys welcome to my chapter review for one piece chapter eight eight fifty two and, and my initial thoughts on this chapter i mean this 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 was a it was a great chapter as usual i mean all the all the whole cake island chapters has been great to be honest but it was a great chapter but there was also more sort of backstory to do with sanji um sanji's um humanity basically um we find out a lot about Sanji and we also see, you know, Luffy and Jinbei and, and Nami sort of how Jinbei sort of destroying the, the like the books, basically the pages of the books in order to free them. I must say this. Yeah, this was a very revealing chapter. I mean, we in the beginning of the chapter, we find out that, um, you know, um, about Reiji's, Reiji's healing ability um, because she's of Germa and she has that sort of... Um, um, she's mo she's modified. We find out that she can her, she can basically be healed, you know, maybe probably quicker than a normal human being. And it's interesting because I always wondered if Sanji could be healed that fast. But from what we find out later on, it seems as if Sanji may be a hundred percent human, and he he may not have he may not have any of the modifications within him. But if he does have any of the modifications uh, from the surgery, then I mean, he he should he should, he should be able to also have that healing ability. But we've never seen it, so I'm I'm guessing that he's probably most likely 100% human. And it's also it's also quite interesting how Reiju doesn't remember much, like because her, her I mean her her, her memories have been uh, overwritten, but she can still remember that very intense moment with when she when she when they were kids the, the argument between her parents she can remember that but then it, it's, it's interesting because imagine if i'm just thinking that yes it's probably true what she's remembering but imagine if maybe pudding maybe a part, a part of pudding's plan maybe pudding actually may have made that memory for her maybe had to put that memory together who knows i mean it could it's, it's, a, it's possible i mean i'm not i wouldn't say that's the case but i think it's definitely possible we also see, um, we see, I always forget her name, but it's Big Mom's um, second, the commander after Cracker. I always forget her name, but she's, she's obviously letting the soldiers go and fight them. I don't think the, I don't think the soldiers will be any match for Jinbei and Luffy, but um, <laughs> it's going to be an interesting fight to see. But I wonder if Luffy is going to eat before he actually fights them, seeing that he's, he says he's hungry in this case. So it's going to be interesting to see what 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 these guys do and it looks like i mean uh, luffy's gonna go all out in this very moment because i mean he just he tells um jinbei to take care of nami while he i mean i think he's going to look for sanji so i basically things <laughs> things are about to get real it looks like and this in this in this from this chapter i think the next couple of chapters it's, it's probably we're going to see a lot of but we're, we're definitely going to see a lot of fighting but anyway back to the sanji and Reiji thing it seems that seeing how I mean, only it's weird because from what I'm seeing, it's why is it that Sanji and Reiju are the only ones who have that bit of emotion in them? Because what's her, what's his name? Yonji is younger than Sanji, so if he came after, why doesn't he have um, some of that emotion as well? Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's just interesting to see if Sanji is going to leave his sister. I, I don't think he will. I think. You take it along with them, and maybe, maybe this is Pudding's plan all along. Was for this may have been Pudding's plan all along to, to 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 you know expose this information and then sort of make make them leave before the wedding. Who knows? I mean, it, it's possible because I feel like uh, Pudding is definitely she's a weird character. You don't know what's going on here, but ultimately it seems as if Reiju has come to terms to to the fact that. It seems like the Vince Bugs are definitely in trouble. So I mean, can you can I see Luffy and um, the rest sort of leaving just like that? I mean, it's, it'll be interesting. But as long as they get what they came for, which is the the pony glyphs, then I guess they can go along with Sanji and Reiju if, if if that's the case. Then they could just leave like that. But that's definitely that's definitely going to cause more problems because I, I I feel like they need to leave in the right way because Big Mom will definitely go after them and why why would you want big mom after you when you have to go and fight kaido i mean that, that that's to be honest that's the worst possible scenario you can have but definitely this chapter shows reiju sort of her care 
for her brother. I mean, this is this has to be one of the most emotional arcs I've ever felt. Like she's really revealing her feelings for her little her little brother. But I mean, I don't think it's that deep that she needs to die for this. I mean, and I don't see Sanji letting her die in this case. I mean, she's not ace, so she needs to chill. But yeah, overall finding out about Sanji's mom, I I already anticipated that Sanji was a human. But I, I feel like, I mean, it's good to have the confirmation that he is also Reiju as well. I mean, all in all, the, yeah, as I said, this is a great chapter. And, and I can definitely I can definitely see Reiju joining the, 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 the Straw Hats at the end of this arc. And also, I must say, the women in One Piece are absolutely amazing. I mean, when you think about, when we think, we go back to Ace's mom, what she did for him, you know, now we got Sanji's mom, what she did for her children. We look at Robin's mom, you know what I mean? We look at the Nami's guardian, I can't remember her name, but I remember her, what she did. Usopp's mom. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, look at what Reiju has done for Sanji in terms of his, um, the, the, the cuffs, they're not real. You know, you know what I'm saying? Everyone, everyone else thought she was, it was real, but now look at that. She had already plan an escape route for him because of the trust that the Vin Smokes have in her. She's an amazing sister. I mean Reiju she has to join. She Reiju can't she can't die. It doesn't make sense. She cannot die. If she dies then I think uh, yeah Oda needs to stop still. But yeah Oda he he's Oda's doing a very good job of of of, of sort of making us uh, get drawn to her. But also I'm thinking about it now. Then should we hate the other Vin Smoke the, the, the other three brothers because when you think about it now is it their fault that they're they're killers and they're evil because they've been ultimately they've been programmed to to be that way so it's not necessarily their fault that they are like that so that's another thing to think about um but yeah what else is it yeah i mean now we, i mean as i said before with luffy he i think he, he's gonna have to eat somehow but i think before he eats i think what's gonna happen is i think luffy's going to find sanji I think Eva, I think Chopper's going to find Luffy and then they're going to find Sanji and then Sanji will cook for Luffy and then the fights are going to begin. But yeah, let me know what you think about this review. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe as usual and comment and like. All right then.